month ago, I went into the dermatologist and I had a mole that I let go for way too long. I know, shake my head, I was bad. Well, the first day when I had had the stitches cut out, I made an, or had the, the mole cut out and stitched up, I made an appointment to come back about two weeks later to have the stitches removed. The standard procedure though, for now that it was melanoma, is they were gonna go in and cut out more, just to make sure I was clear. So I called and made, an, made another appointment to come in sooner than my original appointment to have the stitches cut out, and they cut more out and stitched me up again. I already still had this appointment sitting out there for a week later to have my stitches removed, but I wasn't going to be able to come into that appointment. I needed to make another one to have the new stitches removed. So I make that appointment and being the patient that I am and knowing what I'm doing, I say, well, I have another appointment already there that you probably want to cancel because I'm not going to show up for it. Now, do the rest of your patients do that? What do they do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> they let you schedule that appointment. And what happens? What was that? You call them because they missed the appointment. Why do they miss the appointment? They didn't think to cancel it. You didn't think to cancel it. Now, how easy is it in our scheduler right now to see if someone already has an appointment scheduled? About three screens. Is it easy? It'll take you a few minutes. How many of you actually go through those three screens to do it? Okay, a few of you. How many of you wish that you had the time to do it? How many of you don't care if the patients don't show up for their appointments? <laughs> okay, I mean, that's fair enough. So I'm going to show you something that we changed with version 15. Steve Nash is in the office scheduling a follow-up for the 9th. And what you see right below here is in big red letters, he already has a future appointment scheduled. <laughs> what are those appointments? So imagine Steve standing right there. I'm sorry, Steve, you already have an appointment. Do you want to take care of it then? Do you want to reschedule that one? Well, when is it? Mr. Nash, you're already scheduled on April 30th at 1.45. Do you want to reschedule that or do you want to take care of this there? So this is a feature that we have done. It's not, not this big new interface, but it allows our scheduler to give you information that will allow you to not have your missed appointments. Your missed appointments means you miss out on revenue because you're not going to be able to have that slot filled by another patient when they just don't show up. Can someone take a look at this appointment right here? or not this appointment, this report, and tell me where the breaks are in the day. There's no division of time, no extra spaces. Does it look like your schedule really looks? No. No, because you don't have your blank slots there. So let's print this report with a new feature that we added in version 15, that's to print blank appointments. All of a sudden, you see exactly where your open slots are. Do your patients want you to call them on their home phones? Some said yes, some said no. How many patients answer their home phones? None. So, we have officially moved into the 90s <laughs> and are allowing for cell phones. <laughs> 
You can enter your cell phones in the scheduler. You'll see them over here on the left hand side in the quick information. We want you to be able to call your patients right from here. The other great thing is if you update the cell phone here, it'll update their future appointments. It'll update their, their patient charts. How many of you have walk-in patients? And how many of you print super bills for those walk-in patients? With 15, we are letting you print blank super bills without having to enter an appointment in. It'll print off of any super bill that you've already had customized. So if I go in, I can say I want to print out this super bill format. I can say I want to have one copy. I can have five copies and it'll come up blank up at the top, ready for you to fill in the patient information. And then you, it, it works with the serialization so you can make sure that you have all of them, hand them off, and you don't have to go through all the rigmarole of trying to get a blank super bill by photocopying someone else with the little sticky notes over the top of them <laughs> or uh, making a fake appointment that you're never going to use. You can actually get copies of your super bills out. So we're excited about that.